Hi everyone! Today we are going to practice using 10 of the most popular American English idioms. These are often used by native English speakers, so if you practice using them, then you will sound more fluent. Let's start. A blessing in disguise. A good thing that seems bad at first. Tom lost his job yesterday. It's a blessing in disguise because he hated that job. Now he has the opportunity to find a better one. A dime a dozen. Something that is common. I can't find my favorite pencil. Those kinds of pencils are a dime a dozen. I'll buy you another one. Beat around the bush. To avoid saying what you mean, usually because it is uncomfortable to say it. Hey, I have something to talk to you about. I don't know how to say it. Don't beat around the bush, just say it. Better late than ever. It is better for it to be late than never to happen. Hey, did you hear that Maria finally divorced her terrible husband? Better late than never. I'm happy for her. Bite the bullet. To get something over with that is uncomfortable, but also inevitable. It has to happen. My teacher gave me back my math test today. I got a C, and I don't want to show my parents. You better just bite the bullet and get it over with. They will be angrier if you wait. Break a leg. To wish someone good luck. Bye, Dad. Wish me luck in the game. Break a leg, son. Call it a day. To stop working on something, usually before it is done. We have been working on this project since morning. I'm so tired. Let's just call it a day. We can finish it in the morning. Cutting corners. To do something poorly to save time or money. Hey Sarah, I heard you had a problem at work today. Yeah, I found out that my coworker was cutting corners so he could leave the office early. Easy does it. To calm down or slow down. I'm so angry. My brother won't clean up his messes. I feel like throwing his things away. Easy does it, Brian. Getting angry won't solve the problem. Getting out of hand. To lose control of something. The fire won't stop spreading. I don't know what to do. This is really getting out of hand. Let's call the fire department. Okay, everyone, that was the end of our lesson for today. Today, we learned 10 of the most popular American English idioms. If you found this lesson to be useful, like and subscribe for more like it. Thanks for joining and see you next time.